Hey everyone, welcome back to Roulette Fever. I hope all of you are doing amazing. I wanted to share with all of you something today, you know. Um, as many of you already know that I really love or prefer the dozen strategies, especially the double dozen strategies. So I very often play with those double dozen strategies on online casinos. So last night I was playing with one of the strategies, the strategy which I showed you a few days ago, even uh, chase the last two winner, you know, numbers. So I was playing that dozen strategy. So at first it was giving me really good results, you know, and as it has always given me this kind of good results with any dozen strategies. So, but later on, what started to happen is that whichever two dozen, I, two dozens I was betting on, the num ball was landing on the other other dozen, you know. For the seven, eight straight rounds, it kept on happening and I had to increase my bet size, not Martin Gill, but a certain progression I was using. I had sufficient bankroll to cope with that, but you know, it was becoming not breaking after a certain point of time because it started giving me a feeling that, well, maybe the casino is uh, intentionally rigging it against me, although the game is already rigged, as we all know. And those kind of uh, emotions, you know, we all have, faced no one can deny that we all have faced that well maybe whatever i'm betting on the ball is landing on the other side of it and we start to feel as if some sort of conspiracy is going against us so i felt that exact thing you know last night uh, but later on i changed my strategy and i started using one of the strategies that i've already shown here and with a certain progression so it caught me back to my session positives at least and yeah, I just wanted to share it with all of you because many of you already want to know or want to see the my online experience in online casinos or whatever. So I plan to share it with all of you, but uh, I'm thinking about after 1K, okay, it must be in a good occasion. So yeah, get me to 1K and I'm, then I'm going to share it with all of you. It's not a big thing. I have shared those strategies with all of you already. But yeah, I'm going to share my online experiences after I reach 1K. But anyway, let's uh, dive into today's strategy, you know. I just wanted to let you know that it's not uh, like that I always win or anything like that. I face days like this too. But anyway, in today's strategy, this strategy I have uh, I used in today morning, you know, and it gave me really good results. So I thought about sharing it with all of you. It's like one of the strategy where we are using a certain color combination. So here, rather than using color, we are going to use the high and low numbers. Okay. And we are going to follow a certain progression. So let's begin. We are going to target $100 or 10 units. So we're going to start with $10 bet. You can start with $1, $5, 50 cents, whatever you like. Okay. So those of you who don't know or who aren't aware of the, uh, combination that I'm talking about uh, if I can I'm gonna put the link on the cards or on the on the description or and obviously I'm gonna explain the combination here too so we're gonna move to the high numbers okay so you'll find the link either on the cards or in the description okay but anyway so yeah so the combination goes like this, low, high, low, low, high, high. Okay. So this gave me really good results uh, in today's session. So yeah, although I didn't play the, play the roulette with the double zero, but okay. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to increase it by $1. I mean by one unit when we lose. Okay. And again, we're going to move to the high numbers this time let's spin okay so whenever we are going to win we're going to go back two units okay so this time we're going to bet with 10 we're going up by one and whenever we are winning going back down by two okay we are minimizing our risk remember that and follow the combination properly Targeting 10 units per session, okay? Nothing more than that. Okay. 
don't change anything when you win just follow the combination properly that's all okay we're gonna be back on the low numbers increase it by one unit when you will leave when you lose irrespective of whether you win or lose in your previous round you're going to follow the combination okay so let's win okay Increase it by one unit once again. You can give it a try with even and odd two, you know, but I thought about giving it a try with uh, the high and low numbers and it's been working really fine for me. Okay. But if you want, you can give it a try with even and odd. Well, another day. Great, great. <laughs> wow. Mm. Thank God I don't have to play with double zeros. Okay, we're gonna increase. Another loss. So remember to keep that strict stop loss. Okay guys, as I always say, In my case, I always keep it to the, as you know, double of the amount of the of my session target. Okay. Okay, we have one, so we are going to decrease it by two units. Okay. Great. I mean, amazing. What more can you ask for, huh? <laughs> wow. Oh. I remain on this one. Last one was with 50. This one is going to be with 60. Let's see. We have one. We're going to move to the high numbers this time, but with 40. Let's spin. We have another win. This time we're gonna bet with 20, okay? Don't think about that session positive or anything. Just follow the progression, okay? I'm minimizing my risk, that's all. We're back to our base bet. Great, I just love it when that double zero comes. It gives me a feeling as if I should go inside the skin and break it. But anyway, when I increase once again, you know, it makes me really angry to see that double zero. Wow, as you can see, double zeros and zeros. <laughs> I just feel really bad for uh, those of my friends who had to play with, you know, who have to play with this double zero kind of minus. Follow the progression and follow the combination properly, okay? I'm just feeling a bit frustrated after seeing so many zeros in one session. I'm gonna increase. Problem, we're gonna follow the combination as I said. I didn't face this many zeros while I was playing it online, thank God. Okay, so yeah, in this case, we're gonna to move to the high numbers once again with the base bit.
will be again back to the lows. We are close to hitting our stop loss, you know, we're close to hit our stop loss, but from there we have come back. But it's fine because those of you who are gonna play it on with double zero, you know, it's fine that you could see it. But I just hope and pray that you do, may not have to, you don't have to face this kind of freak of double zeros, this kind of luck, you know. Okay, another loss. We are going to follow the combination and the progression. It can become confusing sometimes, you know, even for me. It becomes confusing sometimes because we are following the both of the things. You know, it's not a straight cut martingale or anything like that. You are slowly progressing. Let's see how it goes. Okay. I think I was... So, wasn't I? I think. Even if I messed up the uh, combination, you know, because I like to remember the progression step also. You can understand what I'm doing here. Anyway, it's low, high, low, low, high, high. Okay. Sometimes it gets really. My mind just got messed up after seeing that those double zeros. That's all. Sorry, why did I increase my bed size? My goodness. I shouldn't have increased my bed size after a win. But anyway, it was good. <laughs> you know why I'm feeling this fr much frustration is that because I, when I used it online, I, first of all, I didn't have to play it on with a board of double zero. But even if I didn't face any zeros or anything like that, but now when I'm giving it an example on the demo, I face so many zeros. It's just making me frustrated. That's all. Okay, we have another win. We are close to our target. Okay, let's see if we can get to 100. And as I said, guys, I would love to share my online sessions with all of you. Just get me to 1K, right? And then I'm going to share it with all of you. It's not a condition or anything like that, but... I would like to do it when I reach 1K. That's my wish. That's all. It's nothing fancy or anything like that. Okay. So what is the last bit? 20. So we're going to go for 30. I think we have a win. We two. Yes. And in this case, I just need one more win. And anyway, through the degradation, I, I would have had to come down to ten dollars anyway. I think yeah, we have a, we have it. Finally, we are close to hit our stop loss with so many zeros, double zeros, and finally we have got to our session target. Yeah, guys, this was the strategy. Try it with even an odd if you want to. Okay, but this one gave me really good results. What I was trying it out on the online casino, so I, I just wanted to share it with all of you. Let me know how it works for you guys. And yeah, best of luck. Try it out on demo. And if you want to make any modifications into the progression, let me know about it. And I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.